let me introduce my guest of course no stranger to full circle with joyce a favorite for so many of you <laughs> his name is benjamin zulu karibu tana to the Asante show James. Asante James. <laughs> how was your madaraka day ah, i mean good. not madaraka day mashuja yeah, mashuja i was uh, now i have a shuja in my house yeah <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> yeah. good for you it was a good one good and good yours? it was very good wow yeah we were very here good. with our audience as well oh yeah. very good <laughs> um so we want to talk about relationship time wasters mm. and you know when it comes to relationships there are people who just kind of string you along wana kupeleka tu but you only only and then they only end up setting setting settling down <laughs> but they only end up settling down with another person but the question then a lot of times is you know did they know that they were just wasting your time did they never intend to settle down with you also did you know that your time was being wasted did you ever have a sense that that person was serious about you <laughs> you know um how can you really tell if a person is a time waster or if they are a serious person about getting in a relationship with you that's what we want to talk about because benjamin the truth is i know babes who've been in relationships for seven years Umeni kumbusha mtu alisema badala ya kudate mtu for 7 years as you're doing a medical degree should mm-hmm. quote for him Matthew 7 are you the one to come or shall we look for another <laughs> <laughs> you know <clears throat> it's true sometimes people uh, you stay in a relationship so long only to be left hanging yeah when i mentioned on facebook that that's what we'll be discussing today people are saying yeah i can't wait for that you know mm-hmm. because no, nobody wants to have their time so much wasted and also their hearts broken yeah nikasema you cannot predict 100% future how people will behave you, you it's not we cannot s- calculate like a mathematical formula and see the trajectory of this relationship whether it's ending to, to marriage or not but there are some things we can do mm-hmm. um, to safeguard ourselves and to examine how stable our relationship is okay talk us through some of those jambo moja ni kuna tofauti ya relationship na tethering <laughs> wow <laughs> okay <laughs> Tethering. Yes. <laughs> you hooked up and didn't go beyond that. You are still hooked up. But while you are hooked up, he doesn't feel like this is the relationship. This is in the meantime. Hmm. And many ladies, uh, they round it off to the nearest come we stay. <laughs> wow. Now we're moving. Now we're moving. So it's like settling for less. Mtoto, boy yangu. No, we're going to Yes. Yes. When he didn't even make that choice. Boyfriend called and the, the, the phone rang Habi. Nikamwambia yeah. I thought alichukua simu yangu akaji save Habi. <laughs> so many times it's not that he left you. He had never been with you really. Right. That is such a powerful point Benjamin because I feel like so many women get caught up in this place where just because he's with you like you think he's it's different than if he's just staying there because ni vile maisha yamempeleka ama cuz he feels like ah, friends with benefits si cha, eh, ni mtu awili but my point is yes. he has not made the choice yes. to be your husband let's to go to number two. You. thank you for clarifying that you could have told him you had something going on but it was not really you are not the woman of my life he doesn't say that to his friends he doesn't put you publicly with the woman he doesn't show the pride that asha fika you are just there because when women who find it because there are people who feel like men don't express feelings but i believe when a man knows what he wants he will so no na wewe tume mimi nimekuinvite show wewe unakuja nimekuuliza mashuja de una niambia hapa mashuja de nobody has the advantage of shuja to when she is not here even to hear it when yeah. a man is settled when he has arrived he will say it so if 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 you are in a vague place you are not sure that is one red sign so ukifichwa fichwa hakutaji to his boys yes he doesn't acknowledge you anywhere. Nasana sana wewe ndio uliinitiate. Oi. Kuja kuishi pale. Number two is this women who trapped the man. Kuja kuja kucheza. Who trapped the man? You can trap me only for so long and I will stay there knowing uh, I, was I, 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 I was trapped. Wow. And they use pregnancy a lot. Let me let me want us to stop introducing a third person into our games. That right. child is a third person. 
they will grow to be an adult. Very it's not a smaller person. Very interesting that you're calling the child also could be a third person because we're going to be talking about third parties yes, in relationships. Yes, that child is a third person. And, and uh, let me tell you people, you don't have to marry your baby mama or your baby daddy. The child has nothing to do with love. To inhibit it, you to have to really? This child will grow and live. So what will remain between the two of you? But it's also important to have, you know, a, a child. We need to talk about that. What we are saying is that we are going to have to go to the house and we are going Who said two parents bring love? <laughs> you can be happier with one parent than with the two parents who are fighting. And, the, and the, 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 roof, the house is cold, there's conflict, there's detachment, there's share, but separate. Actually, these children become disillusioned with the marriage. You can't hide it. So if you're not in love, don't marry because of the child. The child will be happier with one parent. Hey. If they have to choose between two evils, give them the evil of one lacking a parent, but they are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you agree with a single mother or single daddy, you don't have to swear. I swear, my children, I, you can't swear about life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so say I'll try as much as I can, but I also know there are some aspects of life that I can't control. So to me, as an is I say, I won't be back with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you assumed that this was a serious relationship when it was not. Number two, you trapped him. Let's go to number three. A healthy relationship now mm. can end up breaking last minute for two reasons. Okay. It was a, we were good for each other. This, this we want to hear, yeah. This, we were good for each other. Everything okay. But we plateaued. The relationship stagnated. We stopped moving. How? Why? <sighs> the following things. One. I need to tell ladies that their biological clock is more sensitive than that of men. Mm -hmm. The society is easy on men even if they are marrying at 30 something. But if it's a girl, we want to know what happened. Mm. <laughs> if you ask me why I'm still single, I will ask you why you are still married. Okay. <laughs> it was mean, <laughs> but Nikusema, don't try to impose your program on me. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. But Nikusema, ladies, when you're in a relationship, Make sure you can tell whether this man is moving this anywhere. If he's committed to you for the long term. Yes. Many men stay with a woman because she's good for me. And I need men. And I ideas. And I protect. Many men stay for what's in it for him. Are there also men who stay because in a way they feel like they're getting what they need anyways from this woman? Like, Asante, that was my point too. To me, a good relationship can grow stale when it's at stayed too long. Okay. An average dating, most people date for one to three years. I mean, years you date before, it's usually one year okay, to three years. Mm -hmm. Mine was shorter. There are people who are outliers. <laughs> there are people who are outliers, like mm. us, who knew what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> no sooner did you find Hallelujah. him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> mine was nine months at his dad <laughs> from the time we met, not even dating. <laughs> I so, feel you. <laughs> so, <laughs> most people date one to three years. But if you are dating six years, yeah, five years, what you know? But well, you know what, Benjamin? A lot of people would say, why is it that you can date for six years and it doesn't work out, but then you can be, you, we want to be married for 20, 30, 40, 50 years? The purpose of dating is what? That's the question. If you're really shopping, you don't need to shop city market for three days looking for a dress. Right. Either it's there or it's not there. So when you've, when you've made that decision to marry, it's because you know you want to be this, with this yes. person until death do you part. Yeah. Many people date for too long because they started dating too early. Alifika campus first year. Now I hook up na for the mother diapo. Now I can kitu. None of them is, will be ready for the next five years. None sure. of them. And while they are that five years, Akafanya mistake number two, the second reason why good relationships go wrong, giving him husband status mm -hmm. already. When you, when you create a marriage situation, uh, just let's warn people now that we are in. <laughs> marriage has its own ups and downs. Okay. And when you are in, you, times of heat will come and you feel like pulling out. Mm -hmm. By the time we get into marriage, we better be protected by contracts, commitments, <laughs> so that is not easy to check out. Mm. If this situation came when I had not committed, it's easy to work out. Right. Do you get that problem? I do, I do. And we're going to take a short break as we continue okay. with it. <laughs>
Benjamin Zulu, everybody in studio with me right here on Full Circle with Joyce. We're talking about relationship time wasters. Is your time being wasted in the relationship? Ama, are you the one wasting somebody else's time? Maze, let's just have an honest, frank conversation. Let me know which side of the spectrum you lie on. Double two, triple nine is the SMS line. I'll be taking more of your questions when we get back from the short break. Stay tuned. Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. <laughs> Welcome, guys, back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu, uh, a relationship. Do we take coach? Ni psychologist? Psychologist. Psychologist. Mm. All right. Um, and we're talking about relationship time wasters, okay? And I'm asking you guys to be honest with me and say, you know, are you a relationship time waster? Like, do you just know Namka? Like, are you damn right? Or you're just taking this guy for a ride? Or are you on the opposite side where you're the one who feels like you're actually being taken for a ride? Double two triple nine is our SMS line, and you can also comment on our Facebook page at Switch TV KE, or uh, Kenya rather, and on Instagram at Switch TV KE. Now, Benjamin, again, like talking about these relationship time yeah. wasters, Kunafikele time yani, now you have to confront the issue, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And when you start talking about it, this person tells you, Actually, I just I wasn't looking for anything serious. Uh huh. That's more common. Mimi, Aki. <laughs> That's more common. Hey. That's more common. How do you? Anyway, <laughs> first of all, you have to be very brave to even give an answer like that. Uh, uh, like, uh, what is that about? You need to know this. Kama mudianza mapema. Some of us who dated for a short time is because we already mature. We knew, we knew what we wanted, and within a short time we had identified. This is exactly so when you say mudianza mapema, you mean age wise. 23 and backwards, most of the people don't know what they want in life. So you're saying, Tulia, what's the rush about being in a relationship? Take time and explore, man. When you are in the love world, is like a city. You are new in Nairobi. Nazadele umejifungia pia zenda ukazema hapa ndipo umependa. Nata ujaona kule kia izizi, ujaona country bus, ujaona kembiski na kibandaski, na ukachuzi na ukapik one. Don't be in a hurry to commit. Commitment is confining. You need to have explored. Now to shake your side. No wonder you're going after marriage that's still chatting, flirting with whoever. They have never. That taste is still new. <laughs> They're still itching to be told you look nice. You need to oh have been told God. enough of that <laughs> by the time you come here. So don't don't settle too early. You regret it. So there are people who go divergent way because they just grew apart when they were inside the relationship. Huh. 90, 9 out of 10 of the, I interviewed people in campus, uh, only about 10% about really marry when they started in campus. And yeah. even those, many of them, there was a break in between. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, then we can settle them. They, they. But Benjamin, how do you also reconcile that with, I mean, saying, you know, don't settle too early, you know, at 23 while you're in campus, don't settle into a relationship that early. Yes. How do you reconcile that also with not saying, just be all over the place and you know how does that not slide into just being promiscuous with every other person that comes around because you're not trying to commit you just you just enjoying life that's a very important question sampling everything i'm happy you're thinking <laughs> like my audience <laughs> because i needed that to clarify it and you asked it visuri uh, to say me be careless or be flighty and sliding here and there we are saying take that time as experimentation and learning uh, to say me that you're having sex with many people or being we are saying you are growing you are discovering yourself the type of man you want, the type of woman you want, where your career is leading you. Because Kunawatu, you are both very good for each other, but your careers are facing the opposite direction. Okay. The guy wants to migrate to I don't know where. And you you, you, you see all your life <laughs> somewhere in, inside an industry that is in Kenya. So the, the, you, you have not known where you are going and who you want to be. Ukipata mtu mzuri wakati huo, si lazima muekele ati contract sa hiyo. You can say, you can push along while you're still growing. Say, and maintain an open mind. Let's see where this goes. When you feel now ready, and most women tell them, women have a very strong sense of instinct, although they like disobeying it. Mm -hmm. Women have a very sharp sense of, sija kutamwa na mkena regret marijake, ananyambia, aku feel, hiyo sauti kimwambia. Kakitu, kakitu, kakitu. Lakin because that time, you know, pressure from I don't know where, you know, you know, anaka push you, anaka. So, we are, we, are, we are saying, we are not saying be careless. We are saying be patient with yourself. Okay. Uneza pata dress nzuri, alafu pale mbele kuna ingine better, ata alesa price. 
Sema tu nitakuja. Usiseme hii sitaki hata usitusi muuzaji. <laughs> Sema I might come back. And well. there's a reason as you read that one. There's another reason that is uh, tumesema people might grow simply apart. Uh -huh. Na kuna wengine they just made mistakes. You are good for each other but they found a person who excited them and they abandoned you. Mm -hmm. They will live to regret it. That's not your mistake. Na, na just we are not blaming people who get left. Just because we let you manage when you when you makosa. No. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are not blaming you. True. I know guys who are made to mistake and akikaribia the girl just takes off. Mm. But both of them they come to within a few years the girl will say yeah I did a mistake. So mara mingi umeachwa tu na haikuwa makosa yako ama anything but we are saying on your side clear all the red flags. Right. Yeah. Let me read a, a, a very interesting question here by Fatma watching us from Ruai and related to this thing about relationship time wasters. Yes. Hey Joyce, big fan of Benjamin Zulu. That's My right. boss is attracted to me and I'm attracted to him. But he has never told me how he really feels. He calls, takes me to dinners to speak about business. How do I go about it? But hold on. <laughs> I hope they have single both of them. <laughs> yeah, I I hope so. I hope you're not. Yeah, you, you said know. hold on. You, you wanted to think of what? It's because <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're bent to not talk to her. It's because she's saying the boss is attracted to her, but mm. has never told her how he really feels. And when when they go to dinner, they speak about business. Provoke him so for like, Go out with another. How do you know he's attracted? And I'm in Kuna mstana nijuliza juzi, nitajua aje ujamaa kila na manisha wambia check anything, go out with another one. <laughs> That's how men tether you without declaring the intent. Then they keep you away. You see, the problem with staying with an indecisive person, you miss out on the right ones. Joyce, as a lady know you are likable by many men and a man liking you is not out of this world. Please, let's register that. Stop valuing being liked too much. Anybody mm -hmm. can buy you coffee. Mm -hmm. Anybody can, can take you out. Mm -hmm. But if they're still looking around to see how many of you are, so should you keep looking around too. Don't give him exclusivity when he's still experimenting with you. One day, <laughs> reviews to turn up for the coffee. Let him know you also have a life. Then he will, be, he will be forced either to tell you and ask you to be his alone mm -hmm. or leave you alone. This girl is afraid of shaking the waters, then he loses the attention of their boss. No, but I mean, well, she should be afraid of it. It's her boss. Shouldn't she be afraid of shaking the waters? Akilete kwa romance, sasa si boss. <laughs> That's a different thing. Yeah. Here you are the boss in the romance thing. Remember you said, uh, in the, in the, in, even in the kingdom animalia, it's the females who, who call the shots. Who said that? Me? No, no, we said oh. me. I'm telling you that in the in the, in, in the relationship, right, right, we right. can we can request, but it's a woman who determines us will agree. So, we, which means the choice is still on our side, whether she will flow with that kind of a thing, or she wants certainty. <laughs> One simple way to make a man make up his mind is to stop cooperating. But uh, let me tell you, changamoto ya wanawake. Tunambiwa is if say, and then marriage you have to flip the whole script and not do that because you can't you can't start making your partner you know jealous. Is that always a safe way to play it? Who to use partner? jealousy Who, and envy. She's looking for clarity. Joyce, okay. this is a different case. I'm okay. saying when you want a clarity from man, stop going along so that okay. he tells you what you wanted. Okay. okay. So this girl play hard to get. Yes. So far, she has cooperated to see what he wants, and maybe she already likes him. He already likes her back. Now you as a woman. You are, you must control your liking of him to challenge him to come out clean. Sure, sure. I That's get what you. I'm saying. I get you. Yes. When you're already in a relationship, the rules are different. Right. And you remember Nilizema Pia, Hata Mkiolewa, don't put all your cards there. A man needs something to keep pursuing. You need to hear a key of rewards. When I perform <laughs> level A, I'm rewarded level A. If you perform level B, I'm rewarded level B. Don't treat me like a king when I'm behaving like a slave. Sometimes you need something <laughs> different for occasions wow. to motivate me to treat you in a, a, a queenly way, okay? Don't be so happy that I married you, that every day that's what you are celebrating until I don't see the need to bring you flowers, treat you on a higher level. No, don't do that. Because out there, those Is men, who, those Is women, who, yes, thank you. Don't let the place, don't let the thing settle to monotony. So today we are talking about this girl. If you want clarity, challenge the man directly or indirectly. You can ask or simply stop flowing. Okay. <laughs> All right, Fatma, I hope you have your answer right there. I'm going to move on to some more comments uh, on our Facebook um, page. Uh, Judy Rotich, you say the show is moi, Asante Sana. Um, Rogers Rogers Munuve says, hey Joyce, I'm Rogers Munuve, great Benja. Um, <laughs> there, my girlfriend keeps... Changanyeng time, as in today, aneza kuwa so good, 
kesho anaweza kunihat ana die break up uh, oh ni nini is she wasting me ama ni aje cuz i love her um my best uh, she, even i guess my best friend even knows i love her so much let me announce the following we said the other time that uh, huyu anakaa mtoto akai so much of a lady is a girl trying to find out tulisema wacha kuambia watoto wa class 3 wakae kwa kiti the whole day that is impossible you are the one who is wrong those children are supposed to play rogers <laughs> let that girl play kama anataka kucheza wewe wacha kumwambia aache mchezo ni time yake ya kucheza <laughs> look for a person who wants what you are looking for <laughs> na tukasema wakati mwingine watu wakisema i want a break in this relationship Sometimes they're saying I found somebody else and I'll go try if it doesn't work I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Masi Ogola on Facebook says, "Hey mo- morning Joy, say hi to Benjamin. Hi. He really makes my Tuesday mornings bright." Anyway, about the topic, I really hate it when a, ga- a dude or a chick waste your time come to hakupendi ni vizuri akwambie. Personally, I've been through that and you're tuned in from Utawala. Oh, Asante sana for that feedback. And you know, it's true. It, right. it can be very hurtful. It's very painful. Yeah. You feel, you know, our life is made of time. Eh? And when somebody wastes your time, it's like they've wasted a portion of your life. Sure. But let's also comfort those who get left. There's a girl I pursued for all one year. She had not promised anything, but she kept me uh, hoping. You know, entertained my moves, flowed with me. <laughs> like I thought we are building up something. We had until I post the question and she said i thought we are just friends oh no <laughs> are you friends do you know imagine <laughs> oh, no. idea. but i have always said that i was at broken exactly for two hours i timed i checked oh okay <laughs> those two hours move down <laughs> because i since determined that i will not stop my life because of another person who is busy taking on uh, with us sure so i processed it so nikwambia well, those who get left process the experience as a lesson mm. yeah Okay. Well, Face Tadadush on Facebook says it all depends with what makes you prolong the relationship because Yangu, it's now four years and we are locked Kamakawa and we love each other so so much. Uh, say hi to uh, Mutemi. Nimesalimika ya yule wa nyumbani, Edwin. High school. He inspires <laughs> me a lot. Nimesalimika uh, sana. Do you think that's true? It's about d- it depends on what prolongs the relationship. Yes, you know, there are some people who say we are good for each other but the time is not right. Let's give it time until we are ready. Okay. So we are not blanketing here. There are people date for long for a reason. Okay. And that's very okay. All right. That's very okay. Okay. Yeah. Iman James is asking, Mulize, what is the longest or shortest relationship in Afar? Kwangapi, one year or six months? To, is there an actual time frame? Time is not the thing. Yeah. We can give uh, general averages, but time is not the thing. It's mm-hmm. the intensity of interaction and the readiness. Kupuka kuna ingini anakaa kwa relationship because they don't really know what they want. Mm-hmm. Even if want, he wanted shows up, he will go. Mm. <laughs> you mm. know? Yeah. So, again now, in terms of the 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 pointers for one who is in a relationship and suspects by the way my, maybe here yeah, my time is being wasted mm. um what once again what should they look out for and how do they begin to address that situation should they confront the person about it and say look we need a serious resolution or is that the point where you start talking to yourself and <laughs> strengthening yourself to walk away Early in the relationship, even before you, we go very far, don't reduce your options by commitments. To some commitment, one is a baby. Baby is a commitment. One, the baby is here, <laughs> responsibilities. We can't shake that off. So, so to Kasama, if you can postpone the idea of getting a baby, postpone it until you are sure what this is all about. Mm-hmm. Number two, when you're in a relationship, check if the person, the lady, is committal or non-committal. If the guy is committal or non-committal. Come and act like, are you sure? that is enough danger sign you should maintain that in your mind and if enough time has passed so that now we should be doing something that i don't see us doing sijaona so far kitendeka be introduced to important people you know uh, plans being in place mm-hmm. that uh, you know uh, like like it's valentines now maybe you should be the woman he has taken na hajafanya hivyo ama birthday zako is still yeah na kupiga 11 pm yours <laughs> <laughs> last minute. That, those are some of the signs that he's still not serious with you. Yeah. So to, let, let's reiterate this. If the relationship is growing, you should sense more and more closeness, commitment, and progress towards what both of you had in mind. Mm-hmm. Now, Kumbuke, if you had marriage in mind and she did not have marriage in mind, you will not agree. Yeah. Let's say that. Some people wanted girlfriend, boyfriend. They didn't want. Marriage was not in mind. Right. So, don't so this idea of dating to change someone's thought 
doesn't necessarily doesn't work. work. The same way missionary dating, that's not that you're, you're dating to convert someone in, in a religion or something. That yeah, doesn't work. Kasema, be happy that God did not make you the assistant of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Only God changes people. <laughs> right. Nikauliza, how old were you when you realized that you are not the general manager of the universe? <laughs> that you can... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that you can date a person who is flighty, not serious. Have you seen that the boys or young people get money soon? The money confused. How many celebs do we have here who are having uh, so unsettled lives? Mm -hmm. I'm so happy I married before I got money before, because money confuses you. Sure. <laughs> it will be difficult to tell who is serious. Okay. Yeah. All right, Benjamin, give us your contact details for those who I need now of a counseling session, perhaps. So, uh, <laughs> I'm located at uh, Bavesh Center, Gara. Those who want a counseling session can see me. My Facebook is Zulu Benjamin page and Gmail is Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. All right. Yeah. Always a pleasure, Benjamin. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> We're going to get ready for our next discussion, which is about third parties in relationships and i'm going to have my next guest she's in studio already she's going to be joining us to tackle this topic coming up next